नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन कॉमन आइसोलेट्स वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द प्रीवियस सेशन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन आई टॉक यू अबाउट द यूसेज ऑफ आंटीरियराइजिंग कॉमन आइसोलेट्स एंड विथ सम एग्जाम्पल्स आई डिमांड स्ट्रेटर हाउ यू कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट नंबर्स फॉर बिब्लियोग्राफीज टेबल्स फॉर्मूले एंड अटलस एंड ऑफकोर्स encyclopedia and in this session let us try to see other common isolates the first one what i would like to talk to is about dictionaries as i told in the previous session both for dictionary and encyclopedia ranganathan is given only one isolate called k small k which stands for both encyclopedia and dictionary fine so you know dictionary dictionary is a book that gives meanings for words fine the words are arranged in the alphabetical order in a particular language and the meanings can be either given the same language or in some other language fine tamil to tamil dictionary english to english dictionary english words are arranged in the alphabetical order and meanings are also given in english that is english to english dictionary if it is tamil english dictionary words are arranged alphabetically in tamil language and meanings are given in english fine so we have monolingual dictionaries we have bilingual dictionaries bilingual means there are two languages in one language the words are arranged in another language the meanings are given fine yes and dictionary can be called by different names it can be called as a lexicon or a thesaurus or a glossary of technical terms whatever it may be you call whatever it can be you can use same alphabet small k fine okay good and what are types of dictionaries see as i told you about encyclopedias same like encyclopedias even dictionaries we can have two different kinds of dictionaries one is subject dictionary and other is language dictionary fine what is subject dictionary a dictionary that gives meaning to important concepts terms found in a particular subject you can have a dictionary for library science dictionary of physics chemics dictionary mathematics dictionary law dictionary lawyer dictionary animal husbandry dictionary agriculture dictionary you can have a subject dictionary a dictionary meant for giving meaning for the terms found in a particular subject they are all subject dictionaries fine then comes language dictionaries in the sense they are giving meanings for the terms of a particular language tamil dictionary english dictionary hindi dictionary something like that fine and as i told you these language dictionaries can be of two categories they can be either monolingual or they can be bilingual so monolingual means only one language will be there for example longman dictionary of contemporary english so words are in english language arranged in alphabetical order and meanings are also given in english they are monolingual dictionaries bilingual dictionaries tamil english dictionary you take this particular dictionary tamil english dictionary agastya guide agastya dictionary you take words are arranged in tamil language but meanings are given in english or english tamil dictionary urdu sanskrit dictionary two languages are there they are called bilingual dictionaries there are two languages fine okay first let us discuss about language dictionaries see whenever you want to construct number for any language dictionary there are two possibilities as i told you one is a monolingual dictionary tamil dictionary tamil to tamil words are in tamil meanings are also in tamil so if you want to construct a number for language dictionaries then you need to go to a main class called p you know the main class p stands for linguistics the main class o stands for literature where you discuss about poems fiction drama vernacular plays letters written by great eminent authors but here in the p main class we talk about the language its structure its grammar its comprehension composition precise writing all those things we talk about in p linguistics so please remember whenever you have to construct a number for a subject dictionary that is a different thing but when you want to construct number for a language dictionary you have to go to the main class p 
in p main class okay this is a p main class i told you this is a tamil dictionary this is a tamil dictionary so what is the number for tamil again you have to go to language isolate you should find out the number that is 31 31 stands for tamil i have taken the number for tamil from language isolates here just like o main class in p also language number is used as personality it is p that is why no connecting symbol is inserted between the p main class and the personality 31 so p 31 stands for tamil linguistics something related to tamil language okay then you put a colon then comes four four stands for structure taxonomy autonomy meaning of these words so p31 colon 4 stands for you are going to do something with the words available in that particular language so p31 colon 4 you just go and add small k so p31 colon 4 stands for words in a particular language if you are adding k that becomes a dictionary of tamil language so i think it's clear to you whenever you want to construct a number for a particular language dictionary you have to go to the main class p for example there is a oxford dictionary you know oxford dictionary is an english dictionary english to english words are in english meanings are also in english so p one 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 colon four small k that stands for english dictionary p stands for linguistics one 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 english colon four stands for words K stands for dictionary and this way you can construct number for monolingual dictionaries fine okay now let me tell you how you can construct number for a bilingual dictionary it's very very simple the formula is given here you can see the formula p you have the main class p first language the language in which in which words are arranged colon four then small k followed by immediately followed by the language in which meanings are given fine so there are four components this is a language in which meanings are given small k stands for dictionary colon four stands for words p is the main class and this first language is the language in which words are arranged fine if you are clear with these four components then you can construct number for bilingual dictionaries so let us see an example for example we have tamil english dictionary what is the main class so main class is p what is the language in which words are arranged the words are arranged in tamil language so number for tamil language is 31 that is considered as a p here then you're going to add a colon 4 that denotes that there are some words we are talking about the words of a particular language so you put colon 4 okay then to denote that this is a dictionary you have to add a small k then you have to add a second language that means the language in which meanings are given so meanings are given in english what is the number for english one 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 so this is the number for tamil english dictionary fine this is Tamil, this is English, and this stands for dictionary. This is to be classified in the main class P linguistics. I think it's clear to you. Fine. Let us see another example to make it very uh, clear to you. We have Urdu Sanskrit dictionary. P stands for linguistics. 168 stands for Urdu language, first language. Colon 4 stands for words. K stands for dictionary. 1 5 stands for Sanskrit. Fine. Sanskrit. This is K. Okay. This way you can construct number for bilingual dictionaries. Okay. Another example Russian English dictionary. P is the main class. 1 4 2 stands for Russian, the language in which words are arranged. Then colon 4 stands for words. K stands for dictionary. 1 1 stands for English language. So Russian English dictionary. I think it's clear to you. Fine. Then comes maybe the same kind of thing. English Tamil dictionary. Main class English colon four small k and three one stands for 
Tamil. English Tamil Dictionary. Fine. Then, now let us talk about subject dictionaries. As I told you, we can have a dictionary for a particular subject also. Dictionary of education. It's a very, very simple formula. The subject followed by the symbol small k. Dictionary of education. Dictionary of diseases. Actually, the number given here is dictionary of medicine. The dictionary of diseases is L colon four followed by a small k. This is a dictionary of diseases. Fine. This way you can construct subject dictionary number for any subjects for that matter. As I tell you normally, for example, there is a dictionary for William Shakespeare. All the important words used by William Shakespeare are explained in a particular dictionary. That is a William Shakespeare dictionary. How to form a number? O literature, one, one, one English literature, comma, two stands for drama, then J six four stands for William Shakespeare. Now there is a dictionary of William Shakespeare. Just go and add small k. Work is over. Dictionary of William Shakespeare. This way you can construct number for any subject dictionaries. Absolutely no problem. Fine. Okay. Then comes, then comes. We have uh, uh, concordance. Sometimes we talk about concordance. That means we take all the first lines of a particular scripture or a text. And we prepare special index of all the important first lines, all the first lines. That's known as concordance. If you are preparing a concordance of Bible, the number for Bible is Q6 colon 2. Q6 Christianity colon 2 stands for scriptures. So Q6 colon 2 stands for Bible. So I am preparing a concordance. That means all the first lines I am taking, I am taking index. I am preparing index. That is called concordance. So Q6 colon 2, C stands for concordance. Fine. As I told you, Encyclopedia of William Shakespeare, I told you the number. And uh, Dictionary of History, I told you, is very, very simple. You have a History Main Class B, followed by the number for Dictionary K. Fine. Yes. See, even I had a doubt. Sir, when you are using K commonly for both Encyclopedia and Dictionary, how will you be able to differentiate dictionaries from encyclopedias? I'm sorry, Ranganathan has suggested the use of K for both dictionaries and encyclopedias. As of today, there's no other option. We have to use K for both encyclopedias and the dictionaries. Okay, fine. Let me move on to next uh, slide. Okay, and uh, as I uh, showed you, we have Tamil Malayalam Dictionary. I told you how to construct number bilingual. This is Tamil and this is Malayalam. Fine. Then bibliography of Tamil drama. Maybe an example for a previous uh, a common isolate what we discussed. Fine. So that's about the use of the isolate common isolate called a dictionary. Let us move on to the next concept. Okay. Called periodicals. Okay. Periodicals. Then with journals. We have physics journal, math journal, biology journal, libraries and journals. So journals are the periodicals. So they publish every week, every fortnightly, every month, every quarterly, every half yearly, every year, yearly ones. So periodically they publish magazines, they publish journals. They are called periodicals. Okay. So what is the formula? Ranganathan says that M stands for periodical. Okay. And P, P2, P stands for geographical device, space isolates. P2 stands for chronological device that is time isolates. Fine. Okay. And obviously, you know, journals are always belonging to a particular subject. Maybe a Tamil journal, Tamil periodical, English periodical, library science periodical, chemistry journal, chemistry magazine, physics journal. So they are all related to a particular subject. So it is very easy for us. Whenever you want to construct a number for a periodical, you should find out the subject. For example, you take Indian Journal of Library Science. So what is subject? We are talking about Library Science 2. Okay, fine. Now what is the common isolate for periodicals? M. You can add M. Okay, that becomes a journal, a periodical related to Library Science. Now I should individualize. 
hundreds and hundreds of journals are published on library science or in the field of library science how to differentiate one periodical from the other that is why ranganathan has suggested to make use of geographical device and chronological device in which country and which state the journal is published and in from which year onwards the journal is published so based on these two criteria you can individualize a particular periodical see it is an indian journal a journal published from india that too this is a journal published in started in 1964 so this geographical place this time isolates i am going to make use of as p and p2 what is p p is a space what is the number for india i can add 4 4 there is no symbol between m and 44 because 44 is used as a p here then you put a comma because you are going to add p2 what is p2 time isolates in which year the journal was published that is n 64 so this is a number for this indian journal of library science which was started in 1964 so two states a main class m is symbol for periodicals 44 stands for this is an indian journal n 64 stands for year of starting of the particular journal fine so let us see a, a, a another example maybe see journal of shakespeare journal of shakespeare started in england in 1982 so this is a journal so you have can have a number called m fine no problem this is a journal on shakespeare so you should form a number for shakespeare first o 111 comma 2j 64 this is a number for shakespeare this is a journal about shakespeare on uh, shakespeare so m is added this m will have m will have p and this m will have p2 what is p p stands for space this journal was started in england what is the number for england 561 then you are adding a comma because this time isolate is used as p2 here so comma in which year the journal was started in 1982 so that is the p2 here so what is the number for the journal of shakespeare started in england in 1982 o triple one comma 2j 64 m 561 comma n 82 so this way you can construct number for journals which are published in a particular subject maybe another example i can tell you chemical journal started in america in 1909 so this about chemistry so you have e chemistry main class M stands for periodicals journals. Seven stands for America. Okay. N zero nine stands for the year in which the journal was started its publication. So main class. Why M is added without symbol? Because M is the anteriorizing common isolates. There is no need for any connecting symbol between the class number and the ACI. Then space is used as personality. So no symbol. Comma time isolate is used as P two. So obviously there is a comma before P two. Fine. Okay. Good. So let us. I think it's clear to you. Let me move on to my uh, next concept. Okay. Fine. Okay. There is something called uh, serials. Okay. Apart from these journals and uh, magazines, we get lot of serials. That means. Your book is published every year. Every year, for example, you take uh, directories. Directories are published every year. You take a yearbook, Manoram yearbook, two thousand ten, two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve. India yearbook, two thousand twelve, thirteen. Surah yearbook, Hindustan yearbook, Manoram yearbook. Every year they publish annuals, agriculture annual. Every year they publish. So apart from magazines, there are books which are published every year periodically. So they are called serials. They can be directory. they can be year books they can be annuals whatever word you find in your title they all belong to serials fine same just like periodicals serials also have p and p2 p stands for geographical isolates space isolates p2 stands for time isolates the same way how you construct a number for periodicals the same way you can construct number for serials also let us see one example here 
Indian Demography Year Book 1992. So this is a book about Indian demography. Okay, Indian demography, and this is a year book. Fine. Since it's a year book, it's a serial. Okay. So what is the number for demography? Y colon five. So number for demography is Y colon five. Good. What is the number for serial? Small n. Small one stands for serials. Fine. The small n serial has got P and P two. What is P? Geographical place. What is the place? It is a demography of India. So I just added four four to denote that it is from India. Then era publication. This is 1992. So n 92. Can you see your class number is Y colon five. Yen stands for serials. Four four stands for space isolates. Yen ninety two stands for time isolates. For the common isolate yen, space is the personality and time is the personality too. So there is no symbol here, but there is a symbol here. I think it's clear. Just like that, uh, just like periodicals, we do serials also. Okay, one more example. Yearbook of it is an yearbook. They use the word yearbook, so it is a serial. Library and information science started in 1929 in England. Fine. So this is something about library science. So you write a two to denote the library science. And this is a yearbook, a serial. I just added n to denote that it is a serial. And this is from England. What is the number for England? Five. You have five. You have six. You have one. So two is the main class. N is the number stands for serials. Five six one stands for England. Then you put a comma, and then this particular e-book was published in 1929. So you have n n 29. So main class followed by common isolate, then geographical isolate, then comes time isolates. So what can be the formula that can be used for constructing these numbers? Very very simple. You have a main class. After the main class, you add a common isolate. After adding either n or m, then you have to add a geographical device space isolate. Then you are adding a time isolate that is chronological device. This is a common formula for both periodicals and serials. I think it's clear to you. Okay, and uh, let me move on to. Mm, maybe the mm, uh, next one. I think this is clear. Okay. Let me discuss about one more uh, common isolate called history. See, history is a main class. There is one thing. And apart from that, history can be used as a common isolate also. History of library science, history of management, history of marketing, history of chemistry, history of technology, history of law. Any subject can have a history. See, if there is a book on history of library science. So what is the formula? They say the formula for history of any subject is subject plus v. Subject plus v. You take any subject, history of library science. You write two stands for library science. You just go and add small v. That is two v stands for history of library science. History of literature. O stands for literature. You add a small v. That becomes history of literature. History of Tamil literature. O three one stands for Tamil literature. You add small v, that becomes history of Tamil literature. History of Tamil fiction, no problem. You have O three one comma three, which stands for Tamil fiction. Just go and add v, that becomes history of Tamil fiction. Fine. This way, you can add v to any subject to denote that the book discusses about the history of that particular subject. For example. History of history and development of coal classification in India brought up to 1980. The title. So what is the title here? What is subject here? We are talking about library classification. That is coal and classification. We are talking about the history of coal and classification. So what is the number for coal and classification? Two coal and five one n three. This is the number for coal and classification. I am talking about the history of coal and classification. So I add a small v. Since this is on T rising common isolate, I have not added any symbol. Fine. And this about colon classification is in India. So I added four four, which stands for India. Then I add a comma. 
then you can have the year of publication of this particular book 18 1980 n80 fine so subject followed by b history if you want to further individualize you can make use of space isolates and time isolates as you use with periodicals and serials also so this is about the use of common isolate called b history fine okay good okay i think uh, that is sufficient for today's class maybe uh, i will come up with uh, uh, next class with uh, another set of common isolates okay bye thank you so much